Take the exact value, if possible, of the sine, cosine and tangent of the given real number. So the first number is pi by 3. A, we have pi by 3, <coughs> which um, I personally like to always think of it in degrees as well. I just think it computes a bit better, but everybody's different. Pi is 180. Pi by 3 must be 180 divided by 3. So that is 60 degrees, right? So if we, we could potentially draw it on a circle, depending on how you, you've learned it, uh, 60 degrees is here, and we might get some coordinates. Now, I've always uh, I've used the, the hand. I don't know. Uh, I, I find this really useful, because you're, mainly because you're allowed to take your hand into the exam with you. If you want to know about this, you can... This will tell you everything from 0 to 90. So this is 0 degrees, 30, 45, 60, 90. So if what you want to do is find the hand, or find the finger, sorry, that represents that. So 0, 30, 45, 60. Then you put that finger down. Then sine of that angle is going to be square root of the number of uh, fingers on the left-hand side. So root 3 over 2 It's root left hand side over 2, cos of the angle will be root right hand side over 2, so that's root 1 over 2, which is 1 over 2, and tan of the angle is root left over root right, so root 3 over root 1. So I will write that down, sine pi by 3, or sine 60, uh, sine pi by 3 equals root 3 over 2, cos pi by 3, remember it was root at 1 over 2, which is just 1 over 2, and tan uh, pi by 3, well it was root left over root right, so it was root 3 over root 1, which is root 3. Okay, B, 5 pi by 6. So pi by 6 is uh, 30 degrees, because pi is 180. Uh, so 5 pi by 6 must be 5 times 30, so that's 150 degrees. Now, I would now draw the circle for sure. I didn't really need it for the first one, but I definitely want it for this one. There you go, nice circle. And then we need to locate the 150 degrees. So. Uh, uh -huh. So 90 is here, 180 is here, so we must be 30 less than 180, so that is 150, so or 5 pi by 6. Now this, what we want to do is reflect into, we always want to get back into this because the hand method will cover this quadrant, so you can use your hand in here. So what we can do, we can use symmetry to find the rest. So if you now come, we can just, if you're in this quadrant, you can just reflect up and then you can see the parent angle we are dealing with is 30 degrees or pi by uh, 6. We're dealing with 30 degrees for a parent angle. And then you can use your CAST. We know that cos is the only ratio that's positive here. They're all positive here. Just sine here and tan here. So we know that... The values for sine, cos, and tan of 5 pi by 6, or um, 150, are going to be exactly the same numerically as the values for sine, cos, and tan of pi by 6, or 30. But uh, sine's going to have the same sign. Remember, they're all positive here. Sine will also be positive, but the cos and tan will be negative, right? So I know that sine um, 30 equals, well I can go to the hand, I can put, remember 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, put the 30 down, it's root 1 over 2, so it's a half, sine 30 is a half, and that means that sine 5 pi by 6 also equals a half, because sine has the same sign. Uh, we can look at cos, or cos 30, equals, go to the hand, 0, 30, uh, it's uh, root right over 2, root 3 over 2, and that means that cos 
5 pi by 6 has the same value but it's negative because cos is negative in here equals minus root 3 over 2. Uh, if we want tan of uh, 30, 0, 30, remember it's root left over root right, so tan 30 is uh, root 1 over root 3, which is 1 over root 3. Uh, tan 30, or uh, pi by 6, equals uh, 1 over root 3, which you could rationalize to root 3 over 3. But that means that tan 5 pi by 6, using the symmetry, we know it's exactly the same, but it's negative. So it equals uh, minus 1 over root 3, or minus root 3 over 3. Okay, part C. We have uh, minus 3 pi by 4. Well, pi is 180, pi by 2 is 90, pi by 4 is uh, 45. 3 pi by 4 is 3 times 40 plus 3 times 5, so that's 120 plus 15, 135. So this must be minus 135 degrees. So that is quite awkward, but if you draw a circle, it makes things a lot easier. So if we just draw a nice circle. Uh, now, if you think about 135, it's uh, 90 plus 45, and the minus means we go backwards. So normally positive is this way. We're going to go this way. We're going to go 90 plus 45. So it's actually here. So it's this angle here is uh, minus... 3 pi by 4, minus 3 pi by 4 is that angle in there. Now, remember the hand covers this first quadrant, so we need to get back into the first quadrant. And the way you do that, if you're in this quadrant here, you need to just keep going, just go straight. And you realize the parent angle is, is 45 degrees or um, pi by 4 radians. Okay, so also we might need the CAST, C. A S T, and we need to know that uh, in here sine and cos are going to have the same numerical value but will be negative, tan will have the same numerical value and the same sign, so tan will be positive here. So we are going to need to know, remember this pi by 4 is 45 degrees, we are going to need to know sine, cos and tan of 45 and then use that. So sine 45 equals Back to the hand, remember 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, put the 45 down, sine 45 is root 2 over 2, cos 45 is also root 2 over 2, so tan 45 must be root 2 over root 2, which is 1. Sine 45 equals root 2 over 2, so that means that sine of minus 3 pi by 4 is exactly the same, but sine is not positive in here, so it's negative. So it equals minus root 2 over 2. Uh, cos 45 also equal root 2 over 2. So that must mean that cos of uh, minus 3 pi by 4 must equal minus root 2 over 2. Tan uh, 45 or tan pi by 4 we said was 1 because it was root 2 over root 2 equal 1 so that must mean that tan of minus 3 pi by 4 tan has the same sign here it's still positive remember tan is actually the gradient of the line so you can see this line if you go to an angle and you draw the line you can see that line has positive gradient as does this one equals 1 Okay, the final angle is pi by 2, so that is quite friendly. Um, part D, we have pi by 2, so if we just draw a circle, we should be able to see these way on. We don't have to, have to do any of this symmetry at all, so let's just draw the circle. Uh, remember, pi is 180, which is here, pi by 2 is 90, which is there. So that angle there is pi by 2. 
right? And actually, if you think about what the unit circle is, these point, this is zero, uh, sorry, this is one zero here. This is the point zero one there, right? Zero one. So yes, your hand will go to 90, 0, 30, 45, 60, 90, you put your 90 down, it will work, but it's not really necessary. You could say, well, sine um, 90 is root 4 over 2, which is 2 over 2, which is 1. Cos 90 is root 0, there's no fingers on the right hand side, so root 0 over 2, which is 0. And then tan 90 would be root 4 over root 0, which is undefined, because when you divide, divide by 0, you get something undefined. But then just looking at this, remember, if ever we go around the circle, uh, the unit circle, you know that the, the x coordinate is the cos of the angle. So cos pi by 2 is 0. The y coordinate is sine of the angle. So sine pi by 2 is 1. Let's write that down. Sine pi by 2 equals 1. Cos pi by 2 equals 0. And tan pi by 2 is actually undefined. Again, remember I was talking about gradients. If you look at this line here, you can see that's a, a vertical line. Now, vertical lines have undefined gradient. But also, because um, tan of an angle is, or tan theta is sine over cos, sine theta over cos theta, then whenever cos theta is 0, tan theta will be undefined. So tan pi by 2 is undefined. 